Hello everyone, this is Inma and this is my third video about um, Clip Studio Paint material reviews. Today I'm going to start by reviewing a bucket that I use a lot. If you checked my other tutorials you will see that I have a special bucket that I made myself to fill uh, under the line art, but that bucket only works when the line art is very um, like it's not rugged like this one you see because this one has texture so when I try to use my bucket this is the one that I made and the result is see it's not it's not very good because of the texture in the line art so for these cases um, there is one bucket that's very popular, which is this one, but I normally use this one. I don't know why, I just like it more. And it works the following way. Um, I have set it so that the line art is in uh, reference mode. Then I select the layer where I want to apply the base color. I select my bucket, which is set to refer to their reference layer and now what I do is to select the area where I want the bucket to be applied. This is a bit troublesome when there's a lot of detail like in this case but it is just for you to see. I'm sorry for being slow. I just need to make sure to select the area that I want. See, and then the whole thing is filled and it is filled under the liner. See, if you see the liner, see, here. So this works very well for later when I want to change the liner color and such. But uh, the problem is that sometimes um, some parts are filled and they shouldn't be like, for example, here, see? Because when I'm using this, if I do it like this, then this part is filled. So I have to clean it up after I'm done. But overall, this one is very, very useful. See, I had to clean up here. And here too. Well, yeah, so you know, you know how this works. For special types of liner, like pencil and such, uh, this one is super useful, uh, but sometimes you will get some areas filled that you didn't want to fill. So mm, you can erase those manually. So yeah, you have to erase those manually because this, um, with this bucket, I don't think you can do like this. No, the whole thing is erased. So yeah, that's how it works. Someone asked me how to use check patterns like this one, so I'm going to make that my second review of the day. Uh, I'm going to use this one uh, red check that you can download from Assets. By the way, I forgot to say, but as usual, you can find the links to download everything from Assets in the video description. So let's say that I want to apply this pattern to the pants, for example. The first thing that I do is to fill the area that I want to apply the pattern to. In this case, it's uh, this, this layer here. See? Okay. So uh, the next thing I do is to uh, drag and drop the pattern 
right now uh, what normally you'd have to do is to check here to clip to the layer below but right now it's already clipped because of all the layers that I have on top so for example if I want it bigger then I I just enlarge from here like this okay so um, I could leave it like this but there are some ways to edit the pattern a bit so that it will fit the the perspective and such so what I do now is to uh, first of all I rasterize the layer then I'm going to select a big enough area and now I will go to edit transform mesh transformation so I get this and with this I can uh, this is going to be a bit slow I can move the pattern to fit the shape What I should avoid is to pull this one up because if I do, see there is no pattern underneath because I rasterize the layer. But I don't know how to do this without rasterizing the layer. So, so this one should be left here at the bottom. You can move it to the sides, for example, but just not up. I click OK and now I have my pattern following the shape of the leg See? it's a bit more complicated when you want to fill areas like this one where you have to make the shape of the arm and such but what it requires practice really there are other tools to create checkered effects like this one the problem with the one that I'm going to review now is that you have to pay for it you have to pay gold I don't remember how much it was uh, but this one with this you can draw in the shape you want so so for example if I wanted to apply a checkered effect here I would do it like this not this one and then and then all you have to do is to erase the parts that you don't want. This is a pack that comes with many different types of lines that you can combine or you can use the same like I did here. Oops. So it comes with, I think it was from here to here all these so you can use this one or for example you can you can use this and then you can mix it with this one this one or even this one when you use brushes uh, it's all about um, drawing and erasing the parts that you don't want if you want to fill the, the whole thing with checker, then you will probably need different layers. Like if I want to fill under this one, I will use a new layer and then 
this way I can erase here without touching what I had on the top layer. And also if you're scared to erase some part that you didn't want to erase, you can always instead use the layer mask. So you apply it and then you erase, but if you like, oops, I erased too much, then it's okay, you can get it back. Then you select the layer again to keep drawing. So you keep drawing here and then you go back to the layer mask and here you erase. But you can always get it back just by drawing with the main color or the secondary color. You can hide the other layer so that you see better what you're doing. I think there are brushes for this that are for free, but uh, I don't know any. I have this this one, but for this one I'm not going to give you the link just because I can't find it. I don't know where I downloaded it, but I'm pretty sure that this one was for free. Uh, and it works very well because you can select the secondary and main color. See any? Or, I don't know. See, you can do many things and it comes in many shapes and because it's um, semi-transparent you can make the square effect but I don't know the link for this one so that's a pity because it was really good but this one is very good as well and I hope you will find it useful the last thing I want to review for today is this texture pack that I recommended in one of my tutorials for the Clip Studio Paint website. This is to create uh, watercolor effects. So um, to apply this, we go to the top layer so that it's on top of everything else. And we select the one that we want. I prefer black and white ones because I don't want any colors to be applied to the drawing and let's select this one for example to make sure that it's going to um, uh, be uh, a tile uh, image because sometimes it's not it's not tiling see and well sometimes you can adjust it here but sometimes you can't i don't know why if you can then just oh i think it's a bit frozen okay sometimes you can adjust it here if you leave this on then it will repeat but since it's not seamless um, it creates a cutting effect here which is really ugly so it's best to do this reverse uh, okay this looks much nicer so i'm going to lower the opacity a bit to see where all the stains are falling and i'm going to move it a bit so that they fall where I want them to fall, more or less. Mm. Okay, what do I want to do with this? Okay, here. Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to make this layer overlay. And I'm going to lower the opacity a bit. To here. Okay, some parts don't look right, like around here and on the face especially. So what I do is to create a new layer mask like I did before and with the airbrush I erase those parts. Because it bothers me when there is too much texture on the skin. And you can lower the texture wherever you feel it's too much. Also, what I do with this sometimes is to duplicate the layer here. I right clicked duplicate layer. But this one I set to color burn. Now I have way too much, much texture here, but it's just so that because overlay mode makes my image um, lighter. 
so this gives more uh, darkness to the colors but I need to lower it a bit some, on some parts so yeah again I erase the parts that I don't want and you have many different textures on this pack like this one is very aggressive as you can see but you have more normal ones like for example this one I'm going to check if it's going to tile no it's not going to tile so I just click here reverse okay I did this here this is the preference uh, property menu so now I drag and drop it and I do the same thing I move it around Here's, oh, here's fine. Now I overlay. So see this texture is a lot more um, soft. Then I make it color burn. And it looks very nice on some parts. On some it doesn't like here. But yeah, you know what to do. Just remove those parts and yeah so that was it for today <coughs> sorry I hope you found this useful and as usual if you have any request for future material tutorials like the ones for the clothing patterns it was a request so you can request different tools or whatever you want to do and I will see if I have any that I use and if you like my stuff you can check my social media next and if you like my tutorials then you can also check my patreon I'm making drawing um, coloring tutorials there so that was all thank you very much for watching and see you next time bye bye <laughs>